Hello everybody and welcome back to House of Fire Baby Tools. I'm Julian and in this video I would like to show you the results I got from an experiment I did over the course of three weeks. It's about carotenes and the effects it can have on your fire belly tools. The reason I decided to make this video is because there's almost no information about this out there. So I wanted to be the person that teaches you how to change the coloration of the toes, uh, on the belly that is. Um, by the way, this is not important for their health. It's just looks. They look better with red bellies, um, but it's not important for to get them red bellies. Um, all right, that's what I want to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's go. Before we continue, here's a quick clip that shows how potent the carotene powder was, uh, which I used for the experiment. Sadly, uh, I don't have any left of it, but here just a quick clip that shows um, how strong it is. Alright guys, here we go. I got the Petri dish ready. I put the paper under it to make it more visible. And I got the powder ready and now comes the droplet of water. I hope I don't uh, put too much in it. No, already happened. I think this is fine. Maybe even better. Now here is just a little bit of the powder. Uh, I will just take a pinch. Put it on there. just one and you can already see <laughs> it's turning red But you can see it's extremely potent. Here you can see the two animals used in this experiment. Uh, they are both male toads. I took one oriental fire belly toad, uh, Pombina orientalis, and one European yellow belly toad, Pombina variegata variegata. Some of you may think uh, Barigata can change belly coloration and you are correct about that. I took one anyways because people in the past told me they had success um, changing the belly colorations of uh, European yellow belly toads and I wanted to disprove that. For the experiment, I chose this empty tank and simply covered the ground with paper towers where I sprayed daily. That makes it easier to clean by simply removing the towers every other day. And I also added two plants and a bowl of water. But the main reason I chose this type of setup was that they cannot just spit out the carotene powder, which they usually do when you feed them dusted insects in their natural enclosure with water. Uh, here's a quick example video of how they spit it out. In this clip we can see the European YBT eating a, a dusted mealworm with the powder that is. Apparently he's not a big fan of the taste nor is the oriental firebelly toad in the next clip. Doesn't taste well I guess. 
Um, the powder, by the way, is not dangerous or anything. Um, I've used it successfully in the past four years on various different toads and got great results from it. And it was made for amphibians specifically. Um, Alright, uh, let's start with the progress pictures of the oriental toad first and see how his coloration changed over time. Alright everybody, the results are exactly as I predicted, uh, nothing has changed in the uh, yellow belly toad, so I debunked this myth. Uh, there is a reason why, it's, uh, why they are called yellow belly toads and fire belly toads, because they are different species. Um, the results on the oriental fire belly toad occurred rather quickly. Uh, we were able to see a change in coloration on day 5 and I stopped the experiment at day 21, by the way. Uh, sadly, I lost the pictures of day 21, but they pretty much look the same as day 18. And I stopped the experiment because I was satisfied with the coloration and by dusting the powder onto the insects, um, it tastes very bad, so I didn't want to force it on them. So after 21 days, I returned them both to their tanks. Um, I keep each uh, species separated, by the way. Um, I don't want uh, hybrids or... I want to keep it clean uh, genetically. Um, other things I was able to observe is they both of them were rather <laughs> horny afterwards. 
uh, they were calling the whole night uh, for a week straight or something so I'm sure it has effects on their mood and immune system probably uh, so we can say carotenes are not only for the belly um, by the way carotenes are the precursor of vitamin A so we can say it's uh, it was an overdosing of vitamin A all right that's pretty much it I'm thinking if there's something I forgot no that's it um, please if you enjoyed the video drop me a like comment or even subscribe because this would help me a lot uh, and the future for my channel and we see us in the next video bye